I was asked which would be the better biomarker, PDL1, which is the biomarker we use at the moment to try and predict the immunotherapy response, or this biomarker called tumour mutational burden that looks at how abnormal the genetic profile is of the tumour. The short answer to that is it should be both. Uh, it may be that as we've been chemotherapy and immunotherapy together, PDL1 is less important and that maybe tumour mutational burden may become more important, but how we can get the results turned around in a quick and meaningful manner it still remains to be seen. The rest of the talk uh, was a talk by Professor Blackhall who gave a really nice talk on how we might use blood tests to try and guide our patients, not only in terms of circulating tumour cells, but circulating free DNA. And again, talking about tumour mutational burden, there's actually an assay coming through for that. So maybe we'll just get a blood test to measure the mutational burden of our patients and we can use that for immunotherapy. She talked about two new drugs coming through for small cell, one called Rover-T, which looks very exciting to me because small cells are difficult cancer with few treatment options and also the impact of immunotherapy coming through on small cell.